It's been a while since I've done any updates uh, to the EG hatchback project, but today we're going to go from these old rusty crusty drum brakes for the rear suspension to this super cleaned up rear disc conversion.
hatchback, uh, the the trailing arms and the the knuckles for the rear came off a '94 Acura Integra with some newly purchased parts like the brake calipers and brake rotors. The Max Speeding Rods T6 coilovers installed in the rear and got a fresh coat of black enamel paint on the rear trailing arms along with brand new energy suspension polyurethane bushings on the lower control arm and the rear trailing arm. I've not yet hooked up the brakes because I'm not ready to bleed them just yet. Plus, I do need to still go through and torque everything down and also get some proper bolts for the brake calipers. Those are just temporary bolts holding those on right now. One of the things I wasn't able to document very well in this project is because it's really hard to film underneath the car was the removal of the drum brake e-brake cables and the installation of the e-brake cables from the 94 Integra that work with the disc brakes. The e-brake cables I snagged off that Integra were a direct fit for this uh, 92 Civic hatchback. I just unbolted the cables up here inside the cabin and I think there are about four mounting locations underneath the car that I undid to remove them and then strung the new ones right back in place. I did the same treatment to the inside of the fender well as I did on the front with the 3M rubberized undercoating. And I also got the rear sway bar installed from the 94 Integra. I also managed to get the calipers and the rotors installed on the front suspension as well. I haven't run the brake lines yet because I do need to figure out the orientation of exactly how they need to mount up front, but I haven't gotten to that yet. That's going to do it for this video. I'm really close on the suspension, so the next steps I want to do is get the engine hooked up, get the fluids in it and get it running, and also get the brake lines installed and the brake system bled so we can take this thing out for a drive before we go any further. Thanks for watching.